guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a shop with me i am in the parking lot and i'm about to run into a bath and body works i haven't gone for a while and i'm super bummed because i actually missed their semi-annual sale like that huge sale they had right after christmas i just completely forgot about it and then i think my sister reminded me of it and by the time she told me about it it was already like a few days after the sale and i knew all the good stuff was going to be gone so I didn't even bother trying going but I did go today because they had hand soaps on sale and I really need some hand soaps um, down to my very last hand soap and it's actually in uh, my bathroom right now and it's like halfway gone so I need to get some hand soaps and I just want to look around and see what they have so I thought we'd take you guys along with me when I shop in Bath and Body Works so let's head on into Bath and Body Works. Right, guys so it is literally hours later and i'm just now getting around to sitting down and showing you guys my haul i went to bath and body works this morning it was probably like around 10 in the morning that i went and right now it's currently around 9 p.m and i just did not have enough time to film this haul because i was too busy with the kids but i did want to show you guys all the items that i got i only have two bags of things i didn't go too crazy i tried to stick on a budget because i always go into bath and body works for one thing or two things and I walk out with like five bags this time I'm proud of myself I only walked out with two bags so I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought unfortunately I did miss their semi annual sale but I did technically get one thing from the sale that was like left over but other than that I unfortunately missed that sale but the only thing I got for 75% off was this bath bomb and I have bought their bath bombs previously and they work pretty well for me so I just bought this one this one is the endless weekend this is the only one that I really liked the scent they did have a few other bath bombs that were 75% off as well but I just didn't really like how they smelled so I just grabbed this one and then right now they have some candles on sale for $12.95 so I grabbed two so one is for myself and then the other one I actually purchased for somebody else but the one I bought for myself is a cucumber lily and I think this is a new scent I've never seen it it smells so good the notes on this is fresh cucumber green tea lily of the valley with essential oils let's just talk about that packaging you guys they always kill it with the packaging I think the packaging is so pretty it's just a white jar with um, these pink beautiful flowers and then a black lid and 
this just smells so good. Like I can barely smell the cucumber. I really don't smell cucumber. I smell more of the lily than the cucumber, but it just, it's just like a clean, fresh scent. I would love to put this like in my bedroom, but I just really love the way that smells. So I grabbed that candle. And then the other candle I bought, like I said, it's not for myself, it's for somebody else, but it is one of my favorite scents. I actually have this candle currently burning in my kitchen and it is the rose water and ivy and that is how it looks in the packaging and the notes on this one is soft rose petals rain kiss ivy and spring musk with essential oils and it just smells really good if you guys like the scent of rose i would definitely recommend trying this one out and then the second bag is just a bunch of hand soaps i am currently on my very last hand soap and it's almost out so i bought five they were on sale five for 24 i believe so I bought two of the Cucumber Lily, which is the same um, thing as the candle. I bought two of them because it smelled so good. And again, the packaging, you guys, look at that packaging. So pretty. So I bought two of these and these are the Nourishing Hand Soaps. And then I bought this one. This is the Kitchen Lemon, another Nourishing Hand Soap. And I bought this one previously. I really liked it. So I like to put this one in my kitchen. And again, with the packaging, so pretty. It's like a black bottle with lemons on it. And I just really like the way that one smells. And then the last two are um, foaming hand soaps. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of like the foam hand soaps just because I feel like I go through them so quickly, but they did not have these scents in the nourishing ones. So that's why I decided to get the foam one, but the rose water ivy obsessed. And again, look at that packaging, so pretty. So I grabbed one of these and unfortunately this was the very last one, at least they had in my location. If not, I would have grabbed more of these, but this was the only one that was left. And then they had like the tester one, but it's the only one they had left. And then this one is white tea and sage. Again, it smells so good and the packaging so pretty. It's white and has cute flowers on it. So that is the last one I bought. And yeah, those are all the items that I purchased from Bath and Body Works. Like I mentioned earlier, I did not want to go too crazy on things that I was not going to use or I was just going to hoard in my house because I tend to do that. I tend to like stock up on a lot of things when it's on sale, like at Bath and Body Works, and then they end up just staying in like my cabinets and stuff for a really long time. So just grabbed five soaps, two candles, and a bath bomb. So I'm super proud of myself. That is going to end my Bath and Body Works shop with me and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me into Bath and Body Works and seeing what my location carries. I know every location can be different. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and also seeing all the items that I decided to purchase. As always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe, hit that red subscribe button if you have not already. I would really love to have you join my YouTube family. It would mean so much to me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.